Okay, I just about died when I saw this on Instagram. It is the best kitchen hack I've ever seen in my life. And Lisa Danielson has single-handedly made my life better. So Lisa, Veggie Lisa with your blog, you have got the best kitchen hack for us today. That makes me so happy because there's nothing I love more than making people's lives easier. Thank so. you. <laughs> okay. You did. We're going to talk about spaghetti squash. Everyone loves to eat it. Everyone hates to bake it, right? It's kind of 100%. a pain. So I'm going to show you how you can do it in eight minutes and super easy, easy cleanup. So you're going to half your spaghetti squash, which I already did, and scoop out the seeds because you don't need those. And then you're going to take a glass. I just have an eight by eight Pyrex. Put it right down here. And then you're going to cover half of it with water, just right up halfway to the spaghetti squash. That's it. And then you're going to take your basic plastic wrap and stick it right over the top of the spaghetti squash. And it, you're pretty much just making like a little steam bath for your spaghetti squash. Makes sense. Okay, okay. I like it. Yeah. And then you'll take it and you'll stick it in your microwave for eight minutes. That's it. So after the eight minutes is done, guess what? You have a perfectly steamed spaghetti squash that you just take a fork to. Oh and my gosh. I swear you could out. show me this time and time again and I'd still be amazed by it because this is literally the bane of my existence. So <laughs> this makes me so happy, Lisa. I know. So and good. All you have to do is get like a good little marinara sauce or pesto okay. sauce with this. I love to have mine with the uh, vegan meatballs from Ikea. I don't know if you've ever had them, but they're no. delicious. <laughs> had no idea about them, but that's obviously yeah. something I need to add to my list. Yeah, you do. They You can buy them in the freezer section. Anyways, and that's it. Eight well, minutes later. What's so cool about this is like all of your meals are all plant-based. You've got some great recipes on your Instagram as well as your blog. Plus you've got cookbooks, which I have finally. So I'm so yeah. excited. Yes. Okay. Are you ready for one that's really going to blow your mind though? Yes. This one, this one will really blow your mind. I did a video of this and it got like half a million views. So, oh my gosh, you, have you ever been in a situation where you're like, I need almond milk for something, but you don't have any earlier it's today? Going, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's so annoying. You have to get the car and you have to go. Well, let me tell you, I'm going to save you a trip to the grocery store because I'm going to show you how you can make it at home. So you just get a blender, two okay. ingredients. That's it. Three cups of water right here and then you've got your almond butter now i like to get mine from kind of the deli section or the natural food section where you can kind of grind your own because then you know it's just almonds so two tablespoons per three cups that's all you have to remember wow now if you want to get fancy you can sweeten it with dates you can put vanilla extract in it but really it's water and almond butter Blend it up for 30 seconds. And are you ready for it? Oh That's my cool. gosh, that is even easier than doing it with the actual almonds. Oh yeah, no, wow. there you go. Almond milk in a pinch. Lisa, seriously, who are you and where have you been all my life? I mean, I needed you, I totally needed you. So wow, thank you, thank you, thank you for helping us out. And if people wanna follow you on Instagram or go to your blog, give them your info. Yeah, I'm just Veggie Lisa on Instagram. I have a blog, VeggieLisa.com. Um, I love to share simple hacks because guess what? We're all busy. We're all running out of time these days, so, but you can still eat healthy and just make it really simple and easy. You're the best. Good to see you. All right, you too.